Okay, so I'm going to show you how to take a model from vrcmods.com and put it into VRChat. Now it's super simple, um, but if you've never used Unity before, you might not know how to do it, or it might be rather confusing. So um, first things first, you need to make sure you've installed Unity 5.6.3p1 or higher, or it won't work. It's a good idea to just keep it updated anyway. Um, but once you load it up, you should get this screen apart from without all these options that you see here because these are projects I've already made. Now, if you just click new, call it whatever, put it wherever, it doesn't really matter. You're only going to be using it for one model. Now, depending on whether this is your first time launching Unity, it could take quite a while. As you can see, it was rather fast for me, but that's because I've already loaded up a few times. So none of this you need to worry about right now. Um, just make sure you have it installed. Now we're going to be using this website, as you saw in the background, simply because it's the easiest way that I've found to do it. All of these models come pre-built for you, basically, with fully working you know, animations and just put straight into VRChat. So, um, you know, you can find quite a lot of models here, all fully built and ready. Now, we're going to be using this one, um, partially because I want it, and second, secondarily because, uh, well, there's a reason, I'll get to it there. Um, now, you'll see on the right here, install instructions, there's a little link that says download dependencies, now you want to click that. I'll take you to this page. Install Unity, you've already done that. Now you need to click this link and install the VRChat SDK. Now just save these, um, save this file and the model file that you want to a folder somewhere that you remember, you know where to find. And once that's done, mine's are already done, um, I'll show you how to get it into Unity. So you come back to Unity and the first thing you want to do is go to Assets. There's two ways to import a Unity asset. This is one, the proper way. You go down to Import Package, and then click on Custom Package. Now, like I said, Unity can be a little slow sometimes, but once this comes up, I'll be right back with you. Right, so, once you've clicked on import package, this will come up. You just navigate to wherever on your desktop or, or on your computer, wherever it is. Mine are on my desktop. And you find this file, which is the SDK. And this is the thing you want to load in first. You just double click it. This part can take some time, um, depending. This thing it seems to be going rather quickly. Um, but I'll be back when the bar's full. Okay, so once the bar is filled and it's done its thing. You should see and um, the project part here. It may be on a different part of your screen depending on your setup. It could be over here, it could be over here, it could be anywhere. Mine is here, that's where I like it to be. And it doesn't matter, you don't need to worry about this folder as long as it's here. Now now that it's installed, you should see in the top bar there's a new box that's called VRChat SDK. You just click on that you click on settings and it's not here on mine because I'm already logged in but this will come up with a box for your username and your password uh, you type them in you log in you will need a VR chat account for this not just a Steam account and um, you can play it through Steam you just also need a proper VR chat account but once you've logged in that's all you need to do now you need to take your model file at this point now I'll show you the second way to bring it in. You could go through assets, import new asset, you know, import package, custom package, or you could navigate to wherever it is on your computer. For me, it's on the desktop. Just click, drag, alt tab back into Unity, and drop it on the side here in the projects. And that's the same difference. Click import once again. That's it, that's it done, rather quick.
for just a model. Now, these models should come in the folder if you click on the arrow. Ignore all of this stuff. But down here, open me. Now it's quite simple. You click open me, double click. And you see it spawns a model in the center here. Now, this is why I chose this model specifically. Because most models should work fine by default. But it seems that ones in MMD have been broken a little bit. And as you can see, it's all pink. Now, the way you fix this is pretty simple but confusing if you don't know what you're doing. You just need to navigate in to, well, it'll be body here, inspector. So, oh, this is unnecessary. Um, it may have, this one just has, you can see on the right here, this is the name of the model, and you click the arrow. Sometimes the model will have more than just body written here. Armature is unnecessary, you don't need to go in here. But when you click body, you'll see on the right, an in inspector, all of these things on the right are all pink. And the reason for that is that the shader is broken. And the simplest fix, although it can be quite time consuming depending on how many textures and materials are put on this that are broken, is you just go to everyone and hit click on the drop down box, hit standard. Click on the drop down box, hit standard. And you see as I do this, she slowly starts to take shape into looking like something that resembles a human being. As opposed to just a pink blob. And when I'm done, there's your model ready. Simple as that. Now, if there's any pink bits that stick out to you in particular, that you've noticed you can't find on here if the list's a bit, you know, confusing, the easiest way to check is to go into materials on the left here, open it up. Just scroll down on these materials. If you see any that's pink like that, just change the shader once again back to standard. Okay. Back to standard. Some of these might not be used, but it's better to be safe than sorry. And once everything's fine, you go back up to the top bar, hit VRChat SDK, and show build control panel. And once this comes up, it's pretty simple. You just hit one button, and that's it, you're done. So I'll be back with you when this loads up. And here we go. This is what the window looks like when it's loaded up. It has the name of the model. And you just hit Build and Publish. Now, where this is doing its thing, you will notice underneath here there's a small warning about the polygon count. Things with a lot of polygons means that if you have a less impressive system it may lag out VRChat because it's just a lot to process. So if you're experiencing latency lag um, stuttering in your games you may want to go for a model that's simpler. You can get models with less polygons that still look just as nice but you know that's something to consider. Now, now that it's done its thing, this screen should appear, and you just name it whatever the heck you want. I will name this Oka because that is her name. Put in that description, I'm not going to bother. Tick this box, make sure, because otherwise it won't let you load it up. And just if there is some of this stuff here, just be a bro and tick it because we don't want things sneaking under the radar. And this here, this box, um, I don't know if you can see my mouse cursor, but the box on the right is underneath upload image. Um, if you want to mess about with that, it's super simple. You just I'll move this box out of the way so we don't have to deal with that. You, instead of up in the top here, you've got the game, which is where we're in right now. If you go in instead to scene, you can take this 
camera right here and you see when I click on it a camera preview appears in the bottom right now you just mouse on these arrows and you can move the camera around get a good close up shot there you know just to know what you're in for and go back to the game and your image will have updated so now that's done hit upload and once this is finished that's it and this goes for I would say any model that you find on this site and not every model but it will tell you uh, on the models page what features it has whether it's ready to just be uploaded like this whether you have to do some rigging yourself generally speaking though you can find pretty good models not already pre-built for you now if you can't find a model that you want or you find one that you want and it's not on this site you have to do a little bit more faffing around and once I work that out I'll get back to you on the other method, um, the fuller method of uploading the models to VRChat but as it stands that's it done um, I've just been filling time trying to make it go past where this bar fills up um, so um, just to prove um, that it actually works and I'm not leading you astray but uh, I suppose I'll get back to you when this bar is finished loading up ok I'm going to tune back in here for a minute just to set something straight if you see a window doing this doing what this window is doing right now you may automatically default to thinking that something's busted it's not responding, something's wrong um, and kill it that's not going to get you anywhere not in Unity um, things like this will happen from time to time especially if um, you know, the, the better hardware you have the easier running Unity will be but this stuff is likely to happen from time to time it may look like it's um, not responding it may even tell you it's not responding but generally speaking if you wait um, it'll work and it's, you know, it's better to leave it a while and just make sure that it's, it's not busted um, then just keep killing it and never get anywhere. Anyway, I'll be right back. And there we go. Um, as you'll see, update complete, launch VR chat to see your uploaded content. And just to prove it, OK. And I'll load up Steam, head the way down to VR chat. hoping that this doesn't kill my recording somehow. And I'll just head over to the mirror. Okay. It's probably having a bit of an issue. And there's a rainbow person, but... There we go, the avatar we just created. And as you can see, it works fine. So I suppose I'll conclude the tutorial with that and um, I'll see you the next time I get around to showing you the other method.